Diversity is divine. It's division that's diabolic. Yes. And we often, because of our insecurities, we are unable to handle and to hold in tension diversity. For us, we think that something different is something wrong. And it's not. It's just something not the same. <laughs> and, the, and God we, likes that, by well, the way. Well, look at the creation. It's we the see diversity all Absol around us. Absolutely. Uh, diversity is divine, without a doubt. It's the division that is diabolic. And what's important for, for us to understand that Jesus' prayer in John 17, Jesus' theology is that if God is in you and you're in God and God is in me and I'm in God, we are one together Absolutely. in God. Absolutely. So I'm not one. I'm not united in you. I'm united to you in Christ. And this is the hope of glory. Jesus prayed. Father, the glory you've given me, I have given them. What is the glory? <laughs> the glory, Paul, Peter, it was Paul who wrote, he said, that the glory, the hope of glory is Christ in us. Absolutely. And so we need to recognize this and, be, and understand that unity already exists. It's a scriptural fact. Our sin is that we don't make our unity visible because we allow our diversities to divide us. And if we elevate anything, to, to divide us, we are elevating it above the cross. So whether it's a dogma or a doctrine or an expression, if you use that to divide our unity, you have elevated that doctrine or whatever it may be above the cross. Now, we're not saying put doctrine aside. Absolutely not. In fact, of Pope course Francis, not. Of course not, because we speak correction in order that we maintain the family relationship absolutely. with God and one another. But be, please, let's note what Pope Francis did here. Pope Francis, he said, we need two things, two rules. Love God first and foremost with all our heart, soul, and strength, and to love a neighbor like ourselves. And people are getting angry about this because they're saying, well, what about the doctrine? But that is doctrine. That's Jesus' doctrine because when the lawyer asked Jesus, what must I do to have eternal life? Jesus said, but you're the lawyer. What does the law say? And the lawyer said, to love God with all your heart and to love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus responded, do this and live. Mm -hmm. End of doctrine.